Hey guys, welcome back in Kudamang YT. So here's our another video of advanced AI. So last of video we set up that basically our main master BP army and the enemy. So now in this video we'll be we make it some more updates. So first of all, as you can see that I already created them in a child class. Now what is basically the child and father class? Basically the master class is basically his father and whatever his father doing or whatever code or data his father have, the child will be do the same thing. So like the parent begin play and in parent takes, okay? So it will be save you lots of time. It will be save your code. It will be save your game size, okay? Yeah be do so for creating that you need to first of all make sure you're done your master bp then right mouse and then create on child blueprint class and that's all then your child will be automatically ready like this thing so now if you change anything in your master bp it will be automatically change your every of child class okay like as you can see if i have the child uh, rifle if i have this child sniper it will be do the same thing for all okay so even we can change up in our sniper if you want to change the mesh we can do that we can change his health system like how much if you want how much is we want to give his health we can change that too so that was basically awesome okay and also i create a widget and basically i interrogate the widget if you should if you see like as you can see the ui okay like that was good uh, we can see that how much health the ai have so for creating that i will simply create a widget and simple add a process bar and instead of that i add a health value in a value in a variable then i call that uh, ui in my integrated uh in my master bp and once i that i set up that ui and here's the basically the ui that it will be casting that ui get the user widget object and health army and cast army health ui and health value okay so that's all and for the damage system i add basically they get the arrow world time location world forward vector and from that multiply and you know plus then light trace by channel block hit then uh if and branch then i add apply damage that is basically 0 0.1 from the hidden actor and then the in is is if okay is if whatever it is uh if the event hit any of damage it will be minus from our current health and then it will be set that health and if it's more than zero uh so it will be basically you know that die that actor okay so we'll be do the same process but uh because i change here lots of code so first of all let me target here that basically it should be look great because i give you the project file so you know for me give you the project file i want to give you the best project and as neat as screen as possible that's why okay now let's give it that uh apply oh sorry um apply oh whatever it's doing what are you doing a double p l y apply double p l y apply uh damage system okay and uh, i'm giving that color like that it will be right great okay and this is basically for uh, get oh what is doing oh sorry mm, get uh damage system okay that is basically get damage system that is basically for damage system you can also call that damage system okay we have set up here the cur currently it's looking super clean -y. and for there's also a one more issue when we destroy that character it will be in our find nearest enemy it will be get some you know uh, some error so for fixing that error what will be do will be simply verify before or doing anything it should be that is valid or not if that character is valid then it should be do his wo work or it not should be do his work okay so like execute like that okay so if that character is valid then it should be do or it not should be do that and then for the character i guess that 250 is enough is with not so much and not so much less then the character will be successful if it's successful it will be uh, once the distance has come he will start the shooting all this system is here the setup uh, for bullet i just uh, ignore that bullet because uh, that for because the if you're using the line trace by damage system 
if you spawn that bullet so whatever the bullet is doing basically it will be begin overlap on that bullet okay like in the same muzzle it will be spawning that particle is it's spawning basically the bullet so that our line trace cast at here so that's why there's a come error so for now i just disable the bullet spawning but it will be giving that damage that was nice okay <laughs> yeah it will be nice so now what i do basically for saving my time i will be just basically remove that one and delete my this a uh, two so first of all let me save this all and delete them both and then from the master bp i'll be basically duplicate that and set here that master bp and this is for a any m y enemy okay that is basically his enemy one so at here i need to set up that master bp enemy compile oh it's it's crash i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not that why it's crash because there's a like tons of value become change that's why i'm so sorry uh basically on that before saving that he's trying to cast that that's why the error is come i'm so sorry that is basically a any my enemy first of all i need to save that thing then i go to in my master bp and from at here i need to set up here that basically master enemy and now for this ones like that and i need to you know unplug this compile saved and find the inform the, find the nearest actor what i do basically get a pin is a valid get it whatever it is data i need to like that and near find oh sorry compile and save now from the output actor fine or we can search basically oh we can search that near fine near actor hmm why it's uh, not working master what the what is the problem <laughs> master enemy bp it should be work object area by reference that's not working why why it's not working maybe i need to delete that and promote again that is problem of if we change something that it not should be do uh let's give it that ref so i can easily understand that which one is that letting that ts ref yep now it's working amazing okay and other i guess it should be work apply damage system whatever it is and for for now our enemy bp we need to do the same thing we need to remove that we need to remove that and now at here we need to give that a r m y r b master bp compile and promote a variable and let's give it name also ref now connect it with like this make sure that you remove the original one i guess it not should be work oh it's working that's great <laughs> okay so now it will be damage on that character okay so depend on basically the health now let's basically make his child class and let's give it name master master child and i want to give that 
Mm, R A F I L E rifle. I don't know this spelling is correct or not. Okay, let's click on play. Okay, let's destroy him. <laughs> that was nice. Let's give it some more. Okay. Very nice. As you can see, after then completing their works, they are stopping. Even the uh, the UI is also working. Like yeah, for only for using with using only one UI, we are doing most of cases. That was basically a super advanced system. And yeah, that was pretty much enough. Working nice. Uh. Then what you can do make uh, without a spawning bullet we can do one more stuff like if you want to spawn the hidden result that why is hitting basically from that location it should be spawn something so we can basically uh, you know for now we can basically spawn the bullet uh, instead of that bullet okay whatever bullet is spawning we can give that um like if it's hit even some of cases if it's hit so that should be destroy that line trace or even let's give i want to connect it like this if it's hit should be destroy and the collusions okay that is now problem of the collision Zero point five. okay so like if i want to give the bullet i guess that problem come in the spawning yeah as i am thinking that the problem coming on basically as you can see on their hand it's basically doing that which i don't need so for fixing this issue oh the most amazing stuff is that after then sometime it's basically oh i want to check one more stuff yeah but it's working that if it's hitting with something it is basically destroying but the problem is once it, it's hitting uh the projectile is basically the problem okay like maybe i need to spawn after that projectile applied it damage okay let's do that one like from that should be work but i want to copy uh, cut this thing uh, i don't want to cut sorry uh i only need this position data so copy that and once it's applied that damage successfully then it should be spawned that bullet okay for only for show that yeah we are spawning bullet okay let's see that are this method work or not yep it's uh, working that's what i want so even i can increase that power to a thousand for a more fast you know like this is a bullet basically yeah okay it's now working which one i want okay now at here okay after that this system is working if that system is working then from that we can give that show show off bullet system okay that is basically a one kind of like a show off that's why and let's give it color like that and then we want that while it's basically hitting at that location it should be spawn some particles okay like yeah there's a hitting 
so for that we try just we do go i go in my military bag and let's search that hit <clears throat> that is wood larger wood i'm not sure what is that i'm not sure wood muzzle flash shotgun muzzle flash okay there's a some kind of like impact muzzle flash metal larger impact that is for larger that is if it's uh there's a kind of, of you know option they give that was very nice such as you know very good pack so from that let's first of all spawn the uh this is our a master so let's spawn the larger one if it's not work you know that if it's super big so we'll be change up later so from that what i do what is the basically the impact point it will be get that so let me first of all speed this thing make sure that is manually attached that is the impact point what is the basically where is the basically impact it's hit and then from the impact normal or from that get rotation that is maybe forward rotation get vector uh yeah that is uh, the rotate vector uh there's a maybe forward yeah this one i'm what looking x forward that is basically his reactive rotation let's compile and save now let's try even what you can do we can disable the line trace so we can basically see more goodly i'll be do the same for our enemy class okay because i don't want that line trace uh there's the line trace so none let's now try yep as you can see it's working but you know that is super large so for the large i don't need the super large one so i'll be do that medium or smaller you can do the smaller one i guess the smaller one yep the smaller one is great okay so here's our basically the ai they're working totally that was fine everything is pretty much an upgrade but i have some objection as you can see if you check the bullet is not uh, destroying with you know with the bullet okay like bullet, the bullets going from that so i'm um, still colluding let's give like that let's see now uh, i'm not sure that why it's uh you know but basically there's a collision <laughs> okay so we'll be fixed it later so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video